Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Matrix Synapse in Docker. To get started, let's log into the host that's going to be running Docker. Then we'll use the apt install command to install some prerequisite packages. We'll install the Docker GPG key and then add the Docker apt repository. And then use apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Container D. Once the installation completes, we'll make sure the Docker service is running, add the current user to the Docker group, and re-authenticate the current user. Now that Docker is installed, we'll create some working directories for Matrix and Postgres, and set the ownership of the new working directories. We'll use the docker run command to start a Postgres database container, and another docker run command to temporarily start the Matrix Synapse container. If you're following along, Make sure you edit the Synapse server name environmental variable. The matrix Synapse container will start, create some configuration files, and then exit. We need to edit the home server.yaml file. I'll be using nano here, but you can use whatever text editor you prefer. Search the yaml file for server underscore name and update the value as needed. Then search the file for SQLite 3. We'll need to comment out the SQLite configuration lines by adding a pound sign to the beginning of each line. Then scroll up slightly to find the Postgres database configuration and uncomment those lines. Next, we need to update the Postgres database configuration to set a username, password, database, and host. These values need to match what was set when you created the Postgres database container. Finally, we need to add a line to the end of the YAML file to suppress server key warnings. Save your changes to homeserver.yaml. Next, we'll use OpenSSL to generate a 30 character randomized string, and then we'll concatenate the randomized string to the homeserver.yaml file to be used as a shared secret. And finally, we'll start the matrix synapse container with our completed configuration file. At this point, the matrix synapse container is running. We can use the docker exec command to register a new matrix synapse user. When prompted, Enter the new username, and then enter and confirm a password. If we open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 8008, we should get a message saying it works, and that Synapse is running. In order to use our shiny new matrix server, we need to install a client. I'll be downloading the Element client for Windows in this tutorial. Launch the downloaded element client. Click the sign in button, then click edit next to the server name and select other home server, then type the URL of the matrix synapse server. Then type the username and password of the user we registered with the docker exec command. Welcome to element, connected to your matrix synapse server running in docker. 